Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azurautomation.com and welcome to another video of our test project course and today we are going to be discussing about cross language support in test project. So we have been discussing about test project and we discussed about test project in two different languages. One is with C sharp and another one is with Java while creating add-ons as well as while creating the coded test. So if you could think that what is this whole purpose of these languages and why test project is so much focused on creating many different language support and they are also going to introduce many different language support in this year as well apart from Java and C sharp. Why are they so much insisting? So let's just go back and think a little bit that not everybody knows all different languages. One of my team member can know Java whereas my another team member can only know C sharp. He may be very good in C sharp but he may not be good in Java or maybe he know very good about the Python but he don't know very good on C sharp something like that. But Python language binding doesn't exist yet but if I want to jump into his particular code and if I want to help him in creating an add-on I can do that in my C sharp language. So if this is a situation in Selenium where if I know Java but I don't know C sharp then probably I have to learn C sharp to perform an action in a C sharp language binding. But in test project, this particular problem has been completely elevated and this is the first tool where it actually performs this kind of action. Which means we can use an add-on or a coded test created in a .NET within a test which has coded test or add-on created in Java language binding. And similarly, we can do that in a vice versa as well, which is really, really cool. So this is one of the first tool in the planet which has created this kind of option and this is really cool to see that we can mix and match or I call this as a cross language support for the first time in the automation testing tools which actually does this whole operation for us. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to flip to my test project port. So today for our demonstration, I'm actually going to be showing you one of the most coolest thing that we have recently discussed in our previous videos. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is the add-on that I created with the Java language SDK and similarly the add-on that I created in our previous video which is the clear text with the C sharp SDK. So you can see that these are completely two different languages and we have used these add-ons in one specific test for one specific operation. But this time I'm going to be mixing and matching them and I'm going to be using them together within one simple test so that you can see the real power of the whole test itself. So for doing that I'm going to go to one of my tests which is created in our Excel Automation test project. So if you go over here I have this particular EA app test. So if you remember this is the same test that we have used a couple of videos before while creating the coder test in Java language and we also used to click the links with our add-ons. So for doing that I'm going to click this add step and element action. So I'm just going to hit this as action and I'm going to select an action here. The action is going to be click menu links. So I'm going to select this particular add-on. I'm going to hit create. So you can see that this particular click menu link is actually going to click all the menu links for us within our application. So I'm just going to hold this guy over here, right? So I'm just going to save it. Maybe I just want to run this particular test and I will show you how it looks like. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to select the first add-on which is created with the Java language SDK. Over here, as you can see, this is an add-on. Right, it clicks all the menu from the navigation bar, this one. So now if I try to run this particular test, you'll know what's going to happen. So you can see it clicks all the links and then it's going to enter the username and password. Right, so this is the whole test which is actually being done. And you know that this particular click menu link is in Java language SDK. So now I'm going to select our clear text guy while entering the username and password in the middle of this guy. Right. So I'm just going to select the element this time and I'm going to choose the username. So you can see the username text box comes in here and then I'm going to select an action. So the action is going to be the clear text like the one which we created in our previous video, the clearest text from the text box of the web UI. And then I'm going to hit create. 
and you can see once I click that it clears the username text box by the way and you now know that this particular clear text of text box is actually from C sharp it is not from Java and you are actually using a C sharps add-on as well as a Java add-on together within one test and then you are performing an action so this is a cross language execution that you are performing within a same test get your action or job done so this is really really cool to see that we are doing a great stuff here guys so even if I run this you can see that it is gonna click all the links for us pretty cool and then it's gonna enter the username and password and also clear that awesome so this kind of stuff like mixing and matching the language has never been happened with any other tools available in the market and this is the first tool I have ever seen in my life performing this kind of action which is pretty awesome. So what if in future there is going to be an SDK for JavaScript, Python or Groovy if these different languages are going to be developed as well then the tester of any different language knowledge can try to create the test of their own they can create the coder test of their own language or they can try to create the add-on of their own language of choice and then they can mix and match together in a single test and then they can use it which is really really awesome so that's the power of test project itself guys and this is how the cross language support actually shines within test project so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day